Hey everybody, it's Dinosaur George from DinosaurGeorge.com. Okay, Casey from Temecula, California says, what was the largest mammalian herbivore that ever existed? That would be the giant rhino, Paracerotherium. It also has the name Baluchotherium and also Indrocotherium. I think they're all, the three, they're all the same animal. It was a giant rhino that stood almost 20 feet tall. It was massive, bigger than any mammoth. This thing was huge. Uh, let's see, Cade from Converse, Texas says, what was the first dinosaur to walk the earth? You know, Cade, that's a very difficult question. It's a good question, but it's a very difficult because uh, we don't really know all of the dinosaurs yet. One of the earliest dinosaurs that we're aware of is a little dinosaur named Eoraptor. He lived in South America. He, so far as I know, is the earliest known dinosaur, so that would be the first one. Uh, Joseph from Columbus, Ohio says, Dear Dinosaur George, how many tons do you think a T-Rex bite force is? Uh, you know what, Joseph, I think, that, uh, I think that its bite force could have been one to three tons. It's pretty big. He says, also, do you think that Diplodocus um, is the largest known, I'm sorry, do you think that Seismosaurus is the largest sauropod known? Thanks for such a great website. Me and my mom love it. In my opinion, you are the greatest paleontologist. Joseph, that is one of the nicest things. Uh, thank you so much for saying that. Seismosaurus is not the largest. But let me get on to this next question before I answer yours, because it comes from uh, Joseph's mom, Jennifer. Uh, who writes, my son Joe researched, uh, searched the internet for the largest dinosaur ever found and came up with a few sites that claimed a fragment of a sauropod, verte a sauropod vertebra was found that would have belonged to a huge creature eight times larger than Brachiosaurus. Uh, she said, I've discussed with Joseph that sometimes the information you find on the internet may or may not be accurate and she wants me to be able to address that. First, let me say this. Jennifer, I am incredibly impressed anytime I see a parent who takes the time to work with their children to educate. It speaks highly of who you are as a mom. Joseph, you should be incredibly glad and grateful that your mom loves you as much as she does. So before I answer this question, Joseph, you need to look at your mom, you need to tell her thank you, and give her a kiss on the cheek. So I'm gonna wait while you do that, because I've got nothing better to do than wait for Joseph to kiss his mother and say thank you. Okay, I expect you finally said thank you. That's very good, and you should always say thank you to your mom, Joseph. Joseph, here's the deal. Um, sometimes when you go to the internet and you research things, you, you find out that some people post things that they read somewhere else. They don't really do any sort of research. They just put it down because they read it somewhere else. Well, what they may have read may have been wrong. The internet is filled with wrong information. I see it every day. I, I do a lot of research on the internet and I am amazed sometimes at the errors that I find. Um, so sometimes people simply post things that are wrong. This dinosaur that they were talking about, um, they found this giant dinosaur and I believe it was a Stratoposidon. Here's the problem. They only found a fragment of this thing, and they're estimating its size based on the fragment. Well, that's not a realistic way to estimate things. It helps, but it's not accurate. And to think that this dinosaur is 111 feet tall to me is just erroneous, because there's not enough evidence to support it. Seismosaurus was a very long dinosaur. It may have been upwards of 150 to maybe 190 feet long. But we found enough of Seismosaurus to be able to say that with some sense of, of, um, uh, of, of certainty. But the biggest dinosaur, the biggest and heaviest that I'm fully aware of is Argentinosaurus. He was found in South America. Now they found a lot of Argentinosaurus. So in my opinion, uh, that would be the largest. Now there is another dinosaur called Sauroposidon that's being excavated right now in Oklahoma. And from what I've seen from it, it appears to be a very, very big dinosaur as well. So for now, I would say Argentinosaurus is the biggest. Seismosaurus might be the longest. Sauroposidon may displace both of them as being the biggest, but until they find more of this other dinosaur, Stratoposidon, I wouldn't believe that it's as big as they claim it is. It could be, but I wouldn't believe it. And don't always believe everything you read online, Joseph. That's my advice. And again, uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for taking time out to help your, your son um, uh, study. I gotta say this to everybody. If there were more parents like Jennifer out there there would be less problems in the world. One of the biggest difficulties is that sometimes parents don't spend enough time with their children when they're young, uh, and uh, that's really what we need. So good for you, Jennifer. Finally, my friend Ramo from Geneva, Switzerland says, was Delta Dromius one of the fastest meat-eating dinosaurs? You know, um, Delta Dromius was found by Paul Sereno, 
in Africa, and it is a very fast dinosaur. I don't believe he's the absolute fastest. I really think uh, Dromaeosaurus uh, and Struthiomimus or Nithomimus, Dro uh, Dromaeosaurus. I believe that those dinosaurs would have been faster than um, uh, than Delta Dromaeus. But Delta Dromaeus is fast. Uh, he's just a little bit heavier than those other guys. And so I don't think he could carry the weight quite as fast as, as some of the other ones that I named. All right, everybody, that's it for this segment. Thank you all um, for writing to me. Uh, I, understand, I realize, you guys, that I am very late in getting the answers to everybody. Uh, it's been weeks, but I've just been incredibly busy, so I apologize for taking so long to answer your questions. If you've got a question you want to send me, go to DinosaurGeorge.com, click on the Ask Dinosaur George page, and send me your question, and I'll do my best to answer it. For everybody out there, take care of yourself and take care of the people around you. And uh, for you young people, practice your manners, practice your reading, and make sure to kiss your mom and say thank you when she does something nice. Take care, everybody. I'll see you again soon.